Hi, Michaela Harris here. I appreciate you reaching out for this video. I love making these for business owners uh, because I love being able to show them ways to build their brand awareness and grow their business. So throughout this video, I'm going to show you some things that I do for my clients uh, that are actually very effective. It's not everything we do for them, but it is a great way to get started. Um, so I'm just going to give you tips throughout this video. And then at the end, I'm going to show you what the volume in your area looks like and exactly how many people are looking for your services. So I'll just jump right in. First off, um, I did, you know, I do have your Facebook page here. Um, I did see painting by cliff.com, but I tried looking that up. And for some reason, my firewall is blocking it. I'm not entirely sure as to why it is. So, um, I won't be able to look at your website for this video, but I can still give you tips on what to do. Um, and you can apply those as needed. So right now though, I was able to pull up the statistics behind your website. And as you can see here, the DR, that is how powerful your website is. It's pretty low. So this is influenced by your backlinks. You want to make sure you have plenty of good, high quality backlinks to help give your website power so that search engines can see how relevant you are. Backlinks are going to be links from another website that point back to you. And like I said, you want those strong, high quality links because those that are more powerful and higher quality are going to give your website more power than those that are low quality and irrelevant. Quality in this case is way more important than quantity. The next thing is you want to make sure you have plenty of keywords, which I'll explain in a minute throughout your website. Those keywords are going to be what tells search engines what your website's about. So if search engines are not finding keywords on your website, it's basically going to have no clue where in the world to put your website in terms of searches. So it's really important to make sure that you have those keywords on there, exact matches best, and that's going to help search engines know what you're about. And right now your website's not generating you any traffic per month, which means it's basically functioning more like a digital business card rather than actually functioning for you. Now, if I take a look here, this is a search painters, Austin, Texas. So this is what we call a keyword. It's anything someone's typing into a search engine. And when someone needs a company for a service and they don't know when specifically they're going to do what most people do and they're going to jump online and they're going to type it into a search engine. So you want to be sure that when they're typing in these buyer intent words, typically look like a service in a city that they are finding your business because those buyer intent words means those are people that are actively looking to hire a company such as yours and if they can't find you they're not going to use you so these buyer intent words are directly um they're going to turn into those customers that's what that that's what those mean so knowing those volumes and which words to target is important when someone searches that they're going to see the top three businesses and maps in the first page of organic urls Nine out of 10 people will never make it to the second page of Google, and most won't even click more businesses. You want to be as easy as possible for your customers to find you in order for them to utilize your services. And if that's not even enough, being on the first page, being in the top three means that more than 75% of people on average that search for anything are going to click on the first three links that they see. So huge potential for growth here if you know which words to target. So if I take a look right here at this guy, uh, he's your top competitor for this search. I'm going to use his website as an example since I can't see yours. But pretty much um, what you want to do in order to appease search engines and make them happy and see what your website's about is you're going to want to put about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your homepage. And throughout that um, content, you want to make sure you're putting exact match keywords. So you see this right here, commercial painting in Austin, Texas. Um, that right there could be a keyword. I'll have to go look, but you want to make sure you're putting those keywords throughout the content. Uh, one every 150 words is usually pretty good. And then any of your back pages, you want about 500 to 750 words of content. Then, and do as they did, they have their, um, services separated on different pages so that's actually really really helpful when it comes to ranking your back pages for different searches instead of having to rank your entire website uh, for all of them so the reason why this is important is if i take a look here at that guy's keywords so keywords is really really important because this is how you know um, which words people are actually searching for and which ones you need to target 
Austin house painting, this first word here, gets 350 searches a month. Painters in Austin, Texas, 300. House painters, Austin, 300. So just between those three words alone, you have nearly a thousand. Just between the first four words alone, you have well over a thousand. And then you continue to go down this list, drywall repair, house painting, Austin house painters. Um, anytime any of these words are different, even if it's just by one letter, that's a whole separate volume per month of people searching for that word. So there are several thousand people in Austin that are looking for um, your services and they could be finding your company if you were on that first page of Google. So you're going to do this by getting strong, high quality backlinks, getting that content on your website, making sure that your website is secured so that firewalls are not blocking it. And then your Google business profile will allow you to rank locally in Austin. So just to touch on that real quick, in order for you to rank in the top three of maps, you're going to need to do three things in general. It's going to be get more photos, reviews, and citations than your top competitors. Reviews happen over time. Photos are better if they're optimized and geotagged, but any will help. And citations are anywhere online, like any type of directory that lists your name, address, and phone number exactly as it appears on your website. So not only is it important to have a comprehensive social media presence, but you want to make sure that you are ranking in the top three maps and that you're ranking in the top three of the organic URLs in order to reach the most amount of people possible. And then you will end up having thousands of people visiting your website that you could be converting into customers. So exponential growth for your company. I really, really hope that you found this information helpful. Of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to talk with you more about all of this, but otherwise, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I hope you have a great rest of your day.